So, uh, who are you, man? My name is Trey Drexel. I'm a 25-year-old professional basketball player that currently plays overseas in Belgrade, Serbia. And I want to tell you the story of my summer up to this point. Summertime for professional basketball players is where you spend some time with family, but you also need to get in the gym and get better. The summer is where you add to your bag of tricks. The summer is where you prepare for the regular season. I had plans to do all of those things this summer, and my expectations were completely off. Last season, I had an incredible summer that led to an incredible season. I had a career year, both personally and as a team. I led the team in scoring, and our team won a championship. We made history. We did things this year as a club that had never been done. After this historical season, I got an even better opportunity. I got called up to play for the best team in Serbia and one of the best teams in all of Europe. A partisan. Today, the Excel final in partisan. First impressions. Uh, it's a high level club. Um, everything here is done at a high level. Um, guys are super cool, super welcoming, welcoming and uh, you know, it's a great opportunity in front of us. That's, that's my first impression. It was exciting. I met my new teammates. I learned a new system. I finally got, his, got to start playing games. Second game, I get hurt. I went up for a chase down block. I didn't get the block. But on the way down, I put my hand down. These two fingers got wedged underneath the hoop, breaking my fourth, my fourth and third metacarpal. 13 screws, two plates later. This is how my hand looks now. Terminator. <laughs> I had full hand reconstructive surgery. I made it. I did it. Conquered my fears. On the road to recovery is never easy. We're gonna be okay. The injury left me at a very uncomfortable start to my summer. The summer that I, I expected was not gonna be the summer that was reality. I wanted to build and have a summer like last year, and that was just simply not gonna be the case. Instead, I got fear, anxiety, uncertainty, frustration. I felt like I was a shell of myself. I felt inadequate. I felt nervous that I wouldn't be able to provide for myself and, and my new fiance this next year. I'm the fiance, I'm the beautiful fiance he was talking about. <laughs> I, I, I felt scared of my ability to perform. I felt like it was gone. And my future felt so fragile. At this point, you know, I wish I could say I I just kept pushing and I doubled down and I and I just, you know, fought my way through this and focused on the positives. No. I was defeated. I couldn't see a light at the end of the tunnel. There was no end in sight. I was ready to give up. And honestly, I might have gave up. But luckily, as my hand started to physically develop, it, it started giving me those jolts of, not the word isn't motivation, but it gave me jolts of um, empowerment. It's alive. And man, I started, I started building, started to change. I'm literally, I'm trying as hard as I can. <laughs> You should thank um, Pro uh, Compression. Say make an arm sleeve. See if they'll send you one. <laughs> make huge strides. I was able to get back in the gym, not shooting with my right hand, but getting my left hand good. And I was able to make passes out of pick and rolls with my left hand, work my ball handling with my left hand. And even mo more importantly, I was able to, you know, build out my base, build out my lower body and my core. And I was able to go to physical therapy and actually work on the small muscles in my hand. I started to regain even more control in my hand than I had before. 
by around five or six weeks, I began to really turn a corner. I not only was able to start shooting with my right hand and getting consistent with that, you know, I was cleared by a doctor. The same doctor that told me it'd be 12 weeks, six weeks later, were clearing me to play. Close <laughs> out. Oh. I was given opportunities with my broken hand that I didn't even think I'd get before my broken hand. Things started falling into place. I was able to play uh, in the Jamal Crawford. Go on. <laughs> This was the off season of uncertainty, the off season of anxiety, um, of adversity. And now looking back on it all and, and where I am right now, I can't help but just be thankful. Not necessarily thankful with how I handled it because it wasn't perfect, but thankful that I was blessed with the opportunities to grow, that I'm here now and a day away from leaving to my third, third year overseas and hungrier than ever and physically able. I want to say thank you guys for listening and hopefully you, know, you guys want to follow along. It's not a normal life. It's an it's an atypical life. The story of an overseas professional hooper. It's the story of me, baby. So like and subscribe. I gotta work on that. I gotta work on that. The professional hooper part is so weird. For some reason, you say the word hooper. So that shit was whack. That shit was.